this ride was way bigger than any cross-state rivalry. It's way bigger than any political event or function. This has to do with, with people, their livelihoods, their loved ones that they've lost. People have lost jobs because of this tornado. People have lost their family members because of this tornado. People have lost their homes because of this tornado. And this is bigger than anything else that's out there that's going on. Um, people need funds. And any little bit that I can raise to help, I know that they appreciate it because they've already told me. Those same people that are out there that have lost everything, stop beside the road. We're driving the road, giving us dollars to donate to the cause. People giving us money. I had a little kid to get on the stage yesterday and gave me one quarter, four dimes, and one nickel. And, 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 and it's stuff like that. And this kid wasn't no more than five years old. And, and I tell people, this isn't over because we finished the ride. We need to continue to raise money. These funds don't need to go to Uncle Sam. These funds need to go to the people out in these rural areas where the tornado hit that needs it. They need it now. Cut through all the red tape BS that's going on from a political side to the insurance companies, get these people back in homes. Get these people back their livelihood that they've lost. The total distance that we wrote, it's not important. It's, it's the people that we met. We were driving down the road, I think we were leaving Coleman, going into Jasper, and a family, grandmother, daughter, grandkids, son-in-laws, grandson-in-laws were all sitting out by the road. And this lady had a sign. She had a poster. And the poster said, I'm 85 years old and I survived the tornado. The tornado ripped her house apart and threw her out in the field. And they found her out in the field. And she lived to tell about that. So I had to stop. I had to stop to shake her hand. Then I hugged her and then I kissed her. And I said, we are doing this for people like you. And <clears throat> it things like that, that it things like that, that makes me like this right now. So, so it's home. I come back home to do what I can. I, I can't fix all the problems but I can help come up with a solution to try to help fix the problem. I talked to the people before we did the four mile ride and everybody I talked to, to a person, talked about how amazing it was for you to come down here, for them to see you here doing something for the community. What do you want to say to the people of Alabama who you're here to support, who are still struggling and trying to rebuild their lives? What, what's the, the one or two things you want to tell them? This is home for me, too. And I got your back. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right.